Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Fix This House. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to install these IKEA roll-up blinds. Now they're very easy to install like I'll be showing you in this video. They look very simple, easy to use, and as you can see, they roll up by themselves. All you got to do is pull them down and they go up just like that. So stay tuned. So once again, friends, if you're new to the channel, please consider pressing that subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how-to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. As you can see, I've just finished installing these windows, just finished putting on the drywall, putting the texture, just finished painting them, and now we are just putting the finishing touches. So the roll-up blinds that we'll be putting today are Treter from Ikea. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but they are the roll-up versions. They're not the automatic uh, battery powered ones, but they are automatic when you pull them down and they roll up. The first thing that we need to do is measure up the dimensions of our window. This one's measuring to over about 35 inches and a quarter. And if we measure down the length, it is going from about 75 and a half. Now this one comes pre-cut already. It's measuring up to 34 inches by 76 inches. So that's pretty close enough. And it's gonna leave a little bit gaps on the edges, but that's that's fine. I'd rather have it on a shorter end than too big and it will not fit. They come already with all the hardware. Well, not all the hardware, but it comes with these brackets. It doesn't come with any screws, but I'll be showing you what screws that I'll be using to get these installed. When you take these out of the package, it comes with the full uh, mechanism, the rollers, and it comes like what I showed you, these brackets. These brackets do push in and out. Like what I mentioned before, these uh, blinds come with these brackets. They are spring loaded. Once you press it down, it is operated by the spring, which locks the whole mechanism in place. Now each blind does come with a plastic cover, but it, does, it doesn't look plasticky in my opinion. It just looks um, kind of look like sheet metal, but it is made out of plastic. A little tiny film of plastic is covering it, but this will cover the roll up mechanism once you roll it up. Now you can just place it right against that um, channel. And like what I mentioned before, this is spring loaded, which you can roll it up right when you pull it. The brackets, once uh, once you press on that spring, it will lock in place on the channels like what you see here and you can move it around to any position that you might desire. Now the first thing we need to do is we're going to measure up what I did is I'm going to place it 4 inches away from the edge of the inner block. So what I'm going to be doing is four inches from one end and the same measurement on the other end. Now the tools that I'll be using on this video, um, I'll leave in the description down below. I'm just using a regular um, impact driver and I'm also using these wood screws. Now these wood screws are around two inches in length. I'll leave them in the description as well and uh, so that will make it easier for you just in case you're looking for any type of screws. But in my opinion, if you have any screws laying around, they're you can use those. These are just your um, general wood screws. Now take your pencil and then I'll, everything else here, like again, I'll leave it in the description down below. Now you're gonna pretty much dry fit this. You're gonna measure, make sure that each end is nice and even on each side. Then you're gonna mark out where these brackets are gonna sit on because we're gonna be taking these off later so that we can screw it off. So once we, once we take that off, you're gonna take that markings that you just installed, take off the brackets from the channels, and we're gonna be installing these one by one with the wood screws. So take those off and then just place aside the roll up mechanism. Now place the bracket, dry fit it on there first. And then right, right when you place it, you're gonna take your screws. What I did was I just pretty much marked it with my screws uh, where I'm gonna be placing them. There are two holes on each side. You can choose from the top or the sides. What I did here is I pre-drilled everything. I'm just gonna place the screws first just to make it easier. So once I put the bracket on, it'll be a lot easier and I won't be fumbling around with the bracket while I'm trying to screw this um, onto the upper wall. Now, depending on what your situation is, you may be able to do it on the top and you can also do it on the sides, whichever is your pr preferred. Here, I chose to 
um, do it at the top and we're going to do the same thing on the other side again with the markings we're going to pre-drill the holes mark it off where the where the screwdriver is going through going to pre-drill it with my screw then i'll be taking this off once again and then i'm going to place the brackets and just like that i'm just going to drill right through now i'm not going to on the very first one that i installed i'm not drilling the screw all the way through because there is a mechanism right there you want this to still move if you screw this all the way through it's not gonna go that spring load it's not gonna go push all the way so make sure that you leave a little bit of space so they can you can still do this like what I'm showing you right now once that's done it's very simple now it's just pretty much just pretty much locking this in place with the locking mechanism take your your uh, cover take off the plastic cover protective sheeting and then you're gonna place it right onto the face of the roller so the roller this should cover up all the blinds once you roll it you won't be able to see that canvas now when you roll this down it's pretty much it locks in place and then when you pull down onto it it should roll up automatically simple as that very clean love the install and it matches perfectly and you can actually roll this up to any length that you want it will stay on anything so if you roll it up halfway midway quarter way and eighth way whichever you like it will stay and then with just a sudden jerk kind of like a projector um like a projector canvas when you pull it down it will go back up okay simple as that again i'm going to be installing these on the rest of the, my windows again i chose this design because it's very simple and it acts as a good contrast for my wall since my walls are white i wanted to go with a uh, contrast color which is gray and it looks uh, as much of a cool color and we're gonna put the last cover on and once again that's pretty much it you just pull it down and then set it and you're ready to go once again if you found this video helpful please hit that like press that subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on diys how to videos and product reviews that i do within this channel Again, this is what the length of it once it's covered and pretty much it, it works. So as you can see, my wife is pulling down very easy to use and she is very, very happy with these blinds. Very simple and I like how easily they just roll up. I mean, my daughter sometimes goes down and just pushes down and they roll up. That's how easy they are to work with. So thank you once again i hope you like this product i'll try to leave the description down below where i got it and then um that's pretty much it thanks so much and i hope to see you in the next video Bye.